Isai Uchinanchu and Uchinanchu supporters, Rob Kajiwara here. Now, the past 20 days, uh, I've gotten a lot of attention, both on social media and through through uh, the press, um, the press in Okinawa and Japan, and even some international press coverage. <laughs> so. I've gotten quite a bit of attention over these past 20 days since the petition to the White House came out. Um, now, let me say that I'm very thankful to each and every one of you. I'm thankful to all of the press coverage we've gotten. I'm thankful for all of the people who have supported the petition, uh, supported our efforts to save Hinoko, who have supported me. Um, I'm so incredib incredibly grateful to all of you. Um, this would not be possible without each and every one of you. You are all very important to me and to this movement. Um, now, that being said, though, um, I, I, I want to make clear that uh, I, I, am not, I'm, I am not a hero, okay? I, I'm, I'm no hero. Uh, I, I did nothing. I didn't. I really didn't do anything. Okay, all I did was start a petition. That that's it. Okay, and I've been trying to help. You know, get people to sign it and things. But a lot of you guys have also been helping with that. You guys have just been hugely um, just productive in terms of getting signatures. And uh, so this was this was thanks to you guys, your guys' work. It was thanks to the press coverage that we've gotten. So thanks to uh, the celebrities. Uh, who have who have supported our petition? It was thanks to thanks to all of you, all, each and every one of you. Okay, uh, I I am not a hero. Okay, I did nothing. I'm just I'm just an Uchinanchu Hawaiian, who who I I just want the landfill to stop. That's it. <laughs> That's all I want. Uh, I want I want the sea at Hinoko to be protected. That's it. And I want to show support for the. Elderly protesters, support for the late Governor Onaga, support for Governor Tamaki, and I want to show support for all Luchinanchu worldwide. Uh, that's all I wanted to do, was, sh was show my support. And I wanted to help in whatever ways that I could. I saw that the landfill was going to start. I was extremely concerned about it. I couldn't even sleep at night. I was so worried about it before the landfill started, the days before the landfill started, I was watching the news very closely, watching social media for news about the landfill, just hoping and praying that it would stop. And I I was so worried and I just knew I had to do something. And I thought, what what can we do? And I knew about this uh, We The People website on the whitehouse.gov. And I figured it's worth a shot. We. we it's we we might as well try it. It's worth a shot. What have we got to lose? Nothing. Um, so that's why I started the, the petition. Again, I want to emphasize that I'm not I'm not a hero. I never asked for any attention uh, whatsoever. Um, so all, all I want is to show support for Uchina and for all of the people who have worked so hard. Now I I think the real heroes here are the elderly protesters who have been working so hard for years for years on end okay years they've been there for over 1600 days straight <laughs> uh, protesting and trying to protect the sea at Hinoko and they've been doing this on behalf of all Uchinanchu and Uchinanchu supporters I think they're the real heroes here, okay? Fumiko <laughs> Bachan. Uh, Shimabuku Fumiko san. She survived the Battle of Okinawa. The Battle of Okinawa, where one third of the Uchinanchu population was murdered, okay? Sometimes intentionally, they were murdered by the Japanese military one-third and she survived that all Uchinanchu lost family members during that battle she lost 
family members. She she witnessed her family members killed. Her family, friends, neighbors, okay? Like I can't even imagine the horrors of what she and the other Uchinanchu who experienced the Battle of Okinawa uh, went through. I can't even imagine how horrible it is. Just It's just un, unspeakable. It's unimaginable. Uh, my worst nightmares are probably nothing compared to what that reality was. She survived the Battle of Okinawa, Shimabuku-san. And now she is living through another battle. This time the battle to protect the sea, but also to protect Uchina from further militarization, from experiencing another battle. What if, I mean, with the military stationed in Okinawa, you just never know when there might be another attack. You never know when the Japanese might want to sacrifice Okinawa again like they did during World War II. So, Shimabuku Fumiko-sama. Okay, people like her. They're the heroes here. They're the real heroes. There are many others, you know, like her. Uh, of course, um, Hiroji Yamashiro-sama. Um, just uh, Governor Tamaki. The late Governor Onaga. Uh, so many others whose names we do not even know. Whose faces we might not ever see. They are the ones who have been uh, doing the real work here to try to save Hinoko and to protect Uchina and Uchinanchu. Okay, these guys are the real heroes. Uh, there are this battle, this battle to this peace movement to try to protect Hinoko has been going on for at least 20 years, guys. At least 20 years. Uh, there have been so many people some more um, in the spotlight and some more behind the scenes but they were all important and they've all done crucial work to get us where we are today they are the reasons why 20 years later the base still has not been built yes they are trying to go ahead with the landfill but they haven't succeeded yet so all these people the efforts of all these Uchinanshu and Uchinanshu supporters over the last two decades, at least, um, they are the reasons why um, we have come this far. They are the reasons why we still have a shot to stop the construction of that base. There have been just so many, I don't even know how many, Uchinanshu and Uchinanshu supporters who have done so much work over the years, long before me, maybe before I was born, or at the very least, they started when I was a little kid. Okay, like I was, I was probably like ten years old or something when they when they started. Uh, they've been doing this much longer than I have, and I want to make sure uh, they receive the credit, and the credit that is due for them. And this includes uh, both Uchinanshu in Uchina as well as overseas Uchinanshu, Sekai Uchinanshu, okay? This goes for both groups. There have been people in both both Uchina and Sekai uh, Uchinanshu. Uh, and I want to make sure they receive the credit, uh, not me. This is, I started a petition, okay? It's like, it wasn't that hard. I, I did it, I did it in, at home, you know, on the internet. Okay, I didn't survive the Battle of Okinawa. I didn't. I, I wasn't born. I, you know, my my mom wasn't even born yet. My parents were not even born at that time. Okay, I I've been to Hinoko, uh, you know, quite a few times. Um, but I'm not the one out there every day for 1,600 days straight. I'm not the one out there standing in the rain and the typhoons and you know, uh, I'm just here at home 
in Hawaii <laughs> uh, with my dog and my grandma. You know, and I started a petition and I'm trying my best to, to help in whatever ways I can. Okay, but uh, I, I'm not I'm not a hero. Okay, I'm just I'm just an Uchinanchu doing my best, and I want to do my best uh, for all of Uchina. Uh, yeah, that's that's I guess that's it. I guess that's all I have to say for now. So yeah, please, these are the people you should really be thanking. Um, you know, all the people who have worked so hard over the years and the decades, especially the elderly protesters at Hinoko, please, please thank them. They need to hear your appreciation. Okay. Um, they, they really deserve our thanks. We, we owe them a big debt of gratitude. So please thank them and thank all of uh, the supporters over the years, the activists who have worked so hard for Uchina over the years. Please thank them. All right. Um, I guess uh, I'll see you next time.